basically I get to the headlight housing. I'm doing that screw will allow me to take the whole headlight housing out. And that's where you need to get get to. I'm gonna do this socket. And that's the bulb, the original halogen. You undo the sleeve and then that keep allows the bulb to come out. Okay. For one headlight, this is the 9007 model. And for one headlight, you have the fan adapter. You have the LED high and low beam that screws onto the fan. And you also have the driver, which we're going to mount to the side of the vehicle. And here's your 9007 base. The LED, and we're going to get it into the headlight housing. Now it's important to know which way your headlight is because we're going to want the low beam to face up and then shine down and the high beam is going to face down and shine up. And these notches allow you to put it in the right way without getting it wrong. I'm going to line up the notches. Should go right in. You want to make sure that when you put this in there, some of these will not latch on to your existing housing. So just do your best to go up have the LED pointing facing up and down. That'll be your high and low beam. Low beam faces up, high beam faces down. I'm going to position the headlight housing back in there just to make sure that the LED is facing upwards and downwards as much as possible. And I can see I could probably rotate it a little bit. My sleeve is going to tighten it down. I'm going to lock it in with this sleeve. Now it is a little tricky because you have this wire right here coming right out of the side of the base. Follow that in. You're just going to kind of jam that wire up. For me, I just got to lock it under these screws. So that's locked in there. And then this, the wire comes up from the sleeve. And then I want to check and make sure that I still see that my LED is facing upward and straight down. And it's straight up and down. Now, we're going to attach the fan, and that threads on to the back of the LED. you got to clear this, just get that up there, and thread this all the way in, and you watch out for your wire, you don't want to crimp your wire, so once it's threaded in tight, you're good to go. While I thread that in there, the positioning of my LED moved, so I'm going to reposition it again. And this is just a process you'll have to do quite often, is positioning that LED head straight up and down. So I'm just going to tighten. All right, so now we're going to hook up these mating connectors to our driver. And there you can see there's the two mating connectors. One is for the fan, and the other is for the light. Uh, this only goes in one way. You can see the, the key notch and mate these connectors together. And finally, we're going to make the uh, socket to the base. And all I have to do here is push the connector. It's all wired. So I'm going to test that connection now by turning on the headlight. All right, now that you have all of this stuff that you wouldn't normally have with just the bulb, you've got to make sure you find its way back to your engine compartment and you leave room to install the headlight. Yeah,